This video will show you the basic operations of DLAB UV, the spectrophotometer. First, put the instrument on the operation table firmly and open the sample room lid of the instrument. Push and pull the rod of the sample holder to check if the cell positioning is accurate and clear. Position number one cell in the light path after you finish checking. Make sure the light path is not blocked by anything before you close the sample room lid. Plug the instrument to a electricity supply and switch on. The instrument will start the self-checking procedure. When it is complete, the instrument will start the warming up process. Wait for the warming up process to complete or press enter key to skip the warming up and access main interface automatically. To ensure the accuracy of the instrument, we need to calibrate the wavelength on first use. In main interface, select system utility, press enter key. Select wavelength calibration and press enter key. The instrument will start a wavelength calibration. After this is finished, press return key to return to main interface. Now, the instrument installation is complete. Put the software that comes with the instrument into the CD-ROM. Open my computer, and then CD-ROM. Double-click setup to start installing. Enter user information when prompted. Select a directory before you install the program. Install and wave profession software onto the computer. Make sure the instrument is disconnected with USB cable of the computer. Next, install the USB driver. Follow the prompts to finish the installation. Plug the USB cable onto the instrument. Connect the instrument with the computer. Wait for the computer to complete automatic recognition. A installation successful message is displayed. Click to finish the installation. Return to the desktop. Plug in the software USB don't learn. Double click the software icon on the desktop to run the scanning software. Click view on the menu bar. Click option and communication tab. And then click search. When a message indicates that the instrument has been found, click OK. Now you can click the connect, release button in the top left corner to connect to the computer. When connected, the software will gain control over the instrument. Click this button again to give control back to the instrument. Quantitative measure. Quantitative measurement is used to construct a standard curve with several samples of known concentration and then calculate the concentration of a sample. For example, to measure the concentration of a sample according to the requirements. Click the quantitative analysis icon to access the quantitative measurement function. Click the setting button on the shortcut toolbar to set measurement parameters. Select or enter parameters as required. Click the OK button to finish setting. Put the prepared reference and standard sample qubits into the sample room. Put the reference cube head in the light path first. Click the blank icon on the shortcut toolbar to do zero. Put number one standard sample in light path. Click the measure button on the shortcut toolbar to measure it. When the measurement is complete, put number two standard sample in light path. Click the measure button to measure it. When the measurement is complete, put number three standard sample in light path. Click the measure button to measure it. When the measurement is complete, remove number one, number two, number three standard samples that have been measured. Put the rest standard samples into number four, number five, number six cuvettes in order from low to high by concentration. Put them into the sample cells in this order and close the sample room lid. Click the measure button to measure it. Put number 5 standard sample in light path. Click the measure button to measure it. Put number 6 standard sample in light path. Click the measure button to measure it. When all the standard samples have been measured, a standard curve will be constructed. The curve and its equation will be displayed in the top right corner of the software. 
If the display position is not suitable, you can click the coordinate icon on the shortcut toolbar. In the coordinate setting window that pops up, enter a new coordinate value. Click the OK button. Remove number 4, number 5, number 6 cuvettes. Put the unknown samples into the sample cells in order. Close the sample room lip. Put the reference cuvette in light path. Click the blank icon on the shortcut toolbar to do zero. Put number one unknown sample in light path. Click the measure button to measure number one unknown sample. Put number two unknown sample in light path. Click the measure button to measure number two unknown sample. Put number 3 unknown sample in light path. Click the measure button to measure number 3 unknown sample. Repeat the above steps to measure more samples. You can edit their sample names by double clicking their corresponding sample name cells. You can click the save icon under file and enter a file name to save the measurement results. When you finish measuring, put the sample cells back into place. Remove all the cuvettes, wash and wipe them clean. Kinetics measurement is used to measure how the absorbance and transmittance of a sample will change over time. For example, to monitor and record the absorbance change of a sample. Click the kinetics analysis icon to access the kinetics analysis interface. Click the setting button on the shortcut toolbar to set measurement parameters. Select or enter parameters as required. Click the OK button to finish setting. Put the prepared distilled water and samples into the sample cells. Close the sample room lip. Put the cuvette containing distilled water in light path. Click the blank icon on the shortcut toolbar to do zero. Put the cuvette containing the sample in the light path. Click the measure button to measure the sample. Repeat the above steps to measure more samples. You can click the save icon under file and enter a file name to save the measurement results. When you finish measuring, put the sample cells back into place. Remove all the cuvettes, wash and wipe them clean. Spectrum scan. Spectrum scan is used to measure the absorbance and transmittance spectrum of a sample. For example, to measure the spectra of a sample according to the requirements. Click the Spectrum Scan icon to access the Spectrum Scan interface. Click the Setting button on the shortcut toolbar to set measurement parameters. Select or enter parameters as required. Click the OK button to finish setting. Put the prepared reference and sample into the sample cells. Close the sample room lip. Put the reference cuvette in light path. Click the blank icon on the shortcut toolbar to do zero. A user baseline window will pop up. Click the scan button to start scanning the baseline. Put the cuvette containing the sample in the light path. Click the measure button to measure the sample. If you want to check the absorption peak position and the measured value, click the peak icon on the shortcut toolbar. The software will search and mark the peak position and its corresponding measured value automatically. The value is displayed in the numerical table on the right. Repeat the above steps to measure more samples. You can click the save icon on the shortcut toolbar and enter a file name to save the measurement results. When you finish measuring, put the sample cells back into place. Remove all the cuvettes wash and wipe them clean. Multi-wavelength measurement. Multi-wavelength measurement is used to measure the absorbances and transmittances of a sample at multiple wavelengths. For example, to measure the absorbances of a sample according to the requirements. Click the multi-wavelength measurement icon to access the multi-wavelength measurement interface. Click the setting button on the shortcut toolbar to set measurement parameters. Select or enter parameters as required. Click the OK button to finish setting. Put the reference and samples into the sample cells in order. Close the sample room lip. Put the reference cuvette in light path. Click the blank icon on the shortcut toolbar to do zero. Put number one cuvette in light path. 
Click the measure button to measure the sample. Put number 2 cuvette in light path. Click the measure button to measure the sample. Put number 3 cuvette in light path. Click the measure button to measure the sample. Repeat the above steps to measure more samples. You can edit their sample names by double-clicking their corresponding sample name cells. You can click the save icon under file and enter a file name to save the measurement results. When you finish measuring, put the sample cells back into place. Remove all the cuvettes, wash and wipe them clean. DNA, protein analysis. DNA, protein analysis is used to measure the concentration of a DNA protein sample. For example, to measure the concentration of a sample according to the requirements. Click the DNA protein analysis icon to access the measurement interface. Click the setting button on the shortcut toolbar to set measurement parameters. Select or enter parameters as required. Click the OK button to finish setting. Put the reference and samples into the sample cells in order. Close the sample room lip. Put the reference QVED in light path. Click the blank icon on the shortcut toolbar to do zero. Put number one QVED in light path. Click the measure button to measure the sample. Put number two QVED in light path. Click the measure button to measure the sample. Put number 3 cuvette in light path. Click the measure button to measure the sample. Repeat the above steps to measure more samples. You can edit their sample names by double-clicking their corresponding sample name cells. You can click the save icon under file and enter a file name to save the measurement results. When you finish measuring, put the sample cells back into place. Remove all the cuvettes, wash and wipe them clean. When you have completed all the measurements, close and wave professional software to disconnect the computer automatically. Give control back to the instrument. That's all for our video tutorial on this instrument model. Thank you for watching.